Okay, great. You have it installed and you're logged in to V Academia. And so now, how do you use V Academia? Let me show you some things. I'm going to start down here on the left. And if you click on the chat, then you'll see a window and you can talk to uh, the uh, people everywhere, uh, people that are just near you, and uh, private chat. So if you want to send just one person a private chat, it will come up here in the contacts. We'll X on that. Then here we have the people who are uh, in the world right now. So there are only two people here right now. If I wanted to, I could right click on a name and then I can uh, go to that person and click that way. So this is how you can teleport directly to a person. Uh, and here, if you want, you can see their profile. And over here, you can send them a message, a private message in world. Here you have your maps. So you have the mini map. If you click on the mini map, you can see the mini map uh, and you can uh, zoom in and out that way. Uh, but if you want to see a bigger map, you can click on this button here. We'll enlarge it. Or you can click on the big over here. This is a map of the entire region. It's about four or five sims in Second Life, that size. And there are something like 70 different areas. Each area, if you put your mouse over it, it'll tell you what the area is. And then if you want to double click it, you just double click anywhere or click once on the map and you'll teleport directly to that place very quickly. Here's where I am so you can see the little dots. Uh, you can tell where other people are. And uh, I think I saw Alexi. Uh, where is he? I don't know where he is. Maybe over here. And Hill. Somewhere. And if you um, see the blue and the green, you can tell how many people are there uh, recorded people and people who are really there. So I think Alexi is over here because there's one in the green over there. Um, yeah, and you can also click here to see uh, text files and photos that have been taken and audio recordings that have been made, which we can show you later. Okay, so that's how you can adjust that. I don't know what that does. Oh, what? okay, that does on me. Okay, so that's the map. I get rid of those. Then get rid of that. Then here's the location. So we have all the different locations. I guess there's 80 locations in the on the sim now. And you can filter them. Click on here and it's by people, how many people are there. And uh, you can see here's Alexi is over there, or Alex is over there on Anthill. And you can also do it by classroom size, uh, different classes. Here it says number of classes in the location. So that's how you can get to those places. And all you do is just double click on them and you'll go there. This is for your microphone. So if you want to talk, you use turn on the microphone and uh, it will start working. So turn on and ha la 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 la, you're, you're talking. And you can adjust it, the audio here, uh, by the sensitivity and you can use the wizard and all that. That's under the settings. That's here in this button here. Audio capture is for something that has to do with recording your audio. Um, I won't go into that. Here are your camera settings. So you can do a first person camera. Uh, you can set it up for third person camera or you can set it up with uh, free camera. And all you do then if you want to, this is normally third person for the second life. You just right click your mouse. Right click your mouse and move it around. And that's how you can look around everywhere. And I'm using the free camera because then I can move my avatar around uh, without the camera moving. Kind of like a robot. This uh, beta button, don't worry about that. Uh, if you see a problem, you can report it. Uh, these are your settings for your graphics. Uh, I'm using high because this isn't very graphics intensive. Uh, Second life is a lot worse. <laughs> so. Then you can change your audio or your settings there. I won't go into that. Uh, here you can walk with the keyboard. Here is your gestures. So you have lots of, of different gestures you can use. Uh, I wish there were hot keys for them. Uh, but uh, And I don't even think there are sounds for them either. But I don't know. But anyway, there's some gestures for you. Uh, these two buttons here are for uh, when you click on the walk button. 
and I'm whoops I'm in the free camera mode here just a second third person so if I want to walk I just click in front of me and I'll walk there uh, if you click beyond somewhere it'll automatically go around the tree and get you to where you're gonna go and if you want to run you just click on the run button down here and you'll run to that place so it's very useful I think better than the arrow buttons I think but I don't know okay then over here you have um, if I am in a build area which I'm not right here let's see maybe if I can go to the map and find a build area I'll just click somewhere maybe here Oop. and this will this will turn on if I am near a place that I can build something usually you can build in places like this I'll go to a, a um, conference here okay so now you can see that I can build and it's not really build but it's res so I go in, I click on that, and then I click on the gallery, and then I can say a chair, if I want to put a chair, and I just put a chair. And there are different things in the, in the inventory, so you can choose lots of things if you want to sit down on something. And then when you're done, just click that, and then you can just right-click it, and sit, and now you're in a chair. <laughs> right-click it again, stand up and then click on the inventory and click on the X button to remove it and there you go so that's how you can use the inventory you can adjust your avatar uh, change your avatar however you want uh, here there's lots of different faces and stuff and you can change your hair color so then save it when you're done here's your face your shirt your pants so that's under this button and then this button here uh, is a little more difficult because you can upload files this way uh, upload different files and you can make your own folders and organize your inventory as it is in, in Second Life you can organize your inventory here with lots of different things that you can upload uh, you can upload pretty much anything <laughs> and put it in here PowerPoint presentations audio I don't know about video um, but you can put them here and then here you have a list of the classes. Uh, so if you click on this list of classes and you type in Professor, Professor Merriman, you'll see all of my classes. And that's how you can join a class. So this is going to be important for us to learn in the introduction tutorial meeting, which is tomorrow. <laughs> it's the first one. And all you do, do is go to the Soon button and click Go Into and you can see that here's the course that's happening tomorrow 15th and um, there'll be a class here so I'm not gonna join it yet then on the bottom here is a red button and if you click on the red button uh, you can record your um, your time you can record it and make a video so if if you want to review it later, you want to look at it later, you can do that. So you can have your own recordings of the of this whole world. And I'm not going to talk about that in this tutorial. So those are the buttons, the basic buttons to use for V Academia. Uh, I look forward to meeting you here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.